Well guys, welcome back to Freak Fishing. And today we're doing something very different. We're uh, spear fishing. So I know I practice uh, catch and release a lot. I do eat fish, but um, there's a lot of question marks over the sustainability of the fishing industry. But in terms of what I'm doing today, there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that sustainability is not a problem. I'll be shooting only what I want to eat and um, I, mightn't, I mightn't get anything at all. So it's only if they're plentiful you'll kind of catch because there'll be a few you'll get away from you and if there's only one or two it'll be, it'll be fairly scared of you. But um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. So equipment wise, it's snorkel, fins, wetsuit and the spear gun. So the spear gun's pretty much uh, an elastic band pole or elastic band fired pole and uh, if you hit you hit if you're lucky but again there's no bycatch there's no nothing so it's very good in terms of uh, sustainability and keeping it going. So main goal today is uh, Pollock, uh, see if there's any lobsters or crabs and have a real scope around because during the summer this place will be alive but today it will be fairly slow I'd imagine but yeah we'll get moving and hopefully you enjoy it. It's uh, very different to the stay and dry fishing for pike um, but it's part of the kind of the salt series for this year so we will see can we cook our dinner. And, uh, sorry I didn't actually mention I have a weight belt, a knife and a stringer for this fish which is pretty much a string with a little bar to stop the fish coming off. So yeah hopefully we catch some dinner sustainably. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to be using today is pretty much this and I'm going to use the mount on it. Now I'm fear slattering with it on. I know I'll pull it off but I can't see the same but John. You ready to go John? Oh yeah, just off. Let's get moving. You're probably going to see a good bit of John in the spear fishing videos and I'd imagine the fishing videos because uh, he's quite an avid uh, sea, sea man. The main object of today is actually finding spots so uh, you'll know if there's kelp beds or bits like that that there'll be fish later on in the year. So yeah I hope you enjoy it. Um, it'll be a nice footage of the water I hope if it's not if it's the visibility is okay. The plan is we're going to head around that big headland and hopefully end up on the other side of that stone beach. That's actually quite nice. Right, first dunk of the 2022.
Corner Cloud is getting worse, isn't it? Yeah. We could round that point to go straight in, yeah? Or do you want to... Yeah, we're we'll going to the point and going off the beach. Yeah. Now, dive stop number two. Yeah. Lovely little place. But uh, nothing in the other place. A few nice starfish. But uh, after that, wasn't a whole lot. So I'm hoping I'm going to find stuff here because it looks extremely clear. Excuse the penguin look. It's too cold to take the hood off. It's about six degrees at the moment. that we're uh, just out and all we got is a few clams yeah it's better than nothing but uh, there's definitely clams here I'd say during the summer this place will be hot it'll be very good for Pollock it'll be I'd imagine there'll be a lot of uh, flat fish as well what do you think John over there a lot, lot of flat fish so uh, yeah let me know what you think it is let me know what you think of the, the spear fishing and um, if you want to see more, uh, just leave a like or a comment. Or if you kind of have anywhere that you'd like me to go that's uh, good for the spearfishing, give me a shout and uh, we can kind of plan a trip. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we'll. I'm going to put these back because, as far as I can see, they might be a bit in the small side and it'd be better to let them 
it'd be better. <laughs> it'd be better to let them uh, grow. So we put these. Oh, we put these down now. That's what spear fishing's about. It's been in the water and uh, seeing what you can find foraging. Uh, hopefully, now I found a few. I've seen a few uh, brown crabs, and as you can see, the battery went dead halfway through. We're well, not halfway. Probably towards the end, where I started finding the clams. But uh, it's looking like. Um, it's going to be a good season, I'd say. I've um, I have a good few places I want to try out. I was scoping out last year with the fishing rod, and I also got a few good few last year on the spear gun itself. Yeah, so everything's about sustainability. You're only going to catch what you want to eat. Uh, you're never going to take too much, and that's what it's about. It's about keeping it for everyone and the generations ahead. So there's nothing wrong with eating some fish. It's just where and the way it's caught um, can be questionable sometimes. So I hope I'll be uh, making. Uh, fish fingers and all that for the kids and they absolutely love it when you bring home a fish because the difference in the taste of it is unbelievable and we'll see you next thing guys don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, let me know what you think of the the start of the salt series for this year and we'll go again